WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we've got uh, all the indices in the uh, red, with the exception of the NASDAQ 100. That's up three points. So basically flat out there. The Dow's off 280. S&P is down 23. The Russell's off 35 points, 2.5%. So the downside, that's a big loser out there. You've got gold up 22 bucks. Silver's up 90 cents. Lights we crude is back a nickel. Natural gas is up a nickel. And, well, of course, natural gas rolled over to, my apology here, to September, or is in the process. Hold on a second here. Natural gas is down three pennies. There we go. Get the uh, actual live contract. You're in much better condition. To, to, in any event, the uh, got the 30-year Treasury is um, down uh, 14 ticks right now. Uh, so we've got really a tale of two markets out here. What do you mean, Steve-O? Let's take a look at the uh, equity future contract. You'll be able to see this. So here on the left-hand side, we'll start from left to right. You go from the ES Mini, so the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the NDX 100. You've got the uh, Dow, and then you've got the Russell 2000. Let's go from right to left. You'll see that inside the Russell 2000 price right now is testing. So far, it has rejected the bottom of its daily profile. If you're wondering where buyers are, they're at the 1454 area. You'll know by the end of the day whether the buyers had any strength or not. If you're wondering where the sellers are, well, they're at the 1492 level. That's the top of its profile. If we look at the Dow... Dow Equity Future contract. It has not made a lower low from yesterday. Yes, price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 26,178 out there. But it hasn't made a lower low. Always makes you say, hmm, something to think about. At least it makes me say, hmm, something to think about. Now, unlike the Russell and the Dow, the ES Mini and the NASDAQ each made higher highs above yesterday's highs out there. Now, they're nowhere near testing support. The bottom there profiles are 3168 for the ES, 10272 for the NQ. So totally a tale of two different markets. What's the takeaway right now? The takeaway is that one of the weakest indices, the Russell 2000, is testing and rejecting support. So come the end of the day, you'll want to watch at 1454 area if you see a close today. And then again on Monday below that, then the Russell 2000 is telling us about a change in trend. We're not there just yet. But stay tuned, folks, for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic weekend. And we'll look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Take care.